Hello and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner, reading from, and it dawned on me that I should show you that. It's still backwards, but it's, it's a very nice 1929 kind of typefacey, lovely uh, page. Holyrood, a garland of modern Scots poems, edited, chosen and edited with introductory essay by W.H. Hamilton um, in 1929. I'll read you, there is a little um, thing here by Naomi Mitchison from Cloud Cuckoo, Land, Cloud Cuckoo Land, which says, We'll go to the Parthenon now, said Hagnon. Some people say the carving is awfully old-fashioned, but I don't know, I like it. He kicked at a stone and blushed pleasantly. I suppose I'm not old enough to know about beauty yet. Are we ever really old enough to know about beauty yet? This poem is called The Woman and the Snail, and it is by Muriel Stewart. She, I did find something about. She was a poet, and Wikipedia says this now, concerned with sexual politics, which is clear in this poem, later gave up poetry and wrote books on gardening. So, this is by Muriel Stewart, and she wrote poetry, and it's called The Woman and the snail. Over the leaves, in peril and alone, delicately dragging your foolish house along, you wander, and the shell that seems a stone a thrush could crack between two jets of song. You move as if some cold, unfruitful act accomplished drew you from distasteful strife, but beneath that shell your body, cool, compact, tenacious, leads its fierce and secret life. And in that strange house that you never leave, where no door opens upon curious eyes, you take your secret pleasure and receive dim guests perform Elysian mysteries. So I too weary my fragile social shell, as men desire and will, I deftly fit my stature to my shelter, knowing well how you and I together laugh at it. Thank you. You never know about someone else's inner life. For more poems read by me, look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube. Thank you.